All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello, and welcome back to the King of Dota League. I'm Esper Revolution 5 for True Sight CV, bringing you the game number two between Fire and Suicide Room. Game number one was quite the game. Uh, if you missed it, some big plays from the Magnus Techies combo. Uh, and we'll see if there's going to be more big plays coming up next. Uh, should be pretty. Interesting indeed. Uh, I just realized I didn't change over to draft. Then you're still looking at my Aglyph mug. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. As once again, Suicide Room ban out the Medusa and the PL right off the bat. I... That doesn't make any sense to me. I mean... Storm spirit. Radiant team pick. It just it doesn't. Anyways, they're gonna grab Vengeful Spirit Pugna as their first two. Uh, Pugna probably picked up in response to the last trap that was grabbed by Fire. Earthshaker gonna be following up a lot of lockdown and a lot of early push with Shin coming up next. And who knows if we get uh, through these games in the next thirty minutes, I can actually go get some food very quickly in between the games, which would be wonderful, you know, since I'm starting. But... Let's, uh, move on here. Storm Spirit picked up by Suicide Room. Pretty nice here to have against Left Right. You can get in, get out, do some burst damage. Silence him as well, just to stop that. Hey, I'm on this. I should mod Armandez. Let me do that real quick. Uh, chat. Let me find him here. Spirit Breaker. Radiant Team Pick. Blood Seeker. One second while we do this. Uh, Spirit Breaker and Blood Seeker are going to be coming out here. Uh. There we go. Are you kidding me? I'm not logged in. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Okay, I'm having problems with that right now. Anyway, so Bloodseeker gonna be picked up. That's gonna be very nice to have against pretty much all these heroes. Pugna can't really defend against him that well, with or at least not against the rupture. Uh, Radiant team, bang. There we go. Done it. And Spirit Breaker is going to be very nice as well. I mean, being able to initiate on Last Track is pretty tough if you're not careful. This is probably going to force Last Track to pick up a Yules at some point, uh, which would be really nice to have. We're going to see Templar get banned out here, mainly because I think she has a pretty decent matchup against uh, Storm Spirit. And we'll probably see Fire ban out a hard carry here. Now, I'm... I've seen Team Suicide Room banning out these uh, late, late, late game heroes, like Medusa and Spectre, which aren't even in the meta here, in my opinion. And to be honest, unless one of these players on fire really plays Medusa amazingly, I don't see it as a first ban. I mean, unless Fire plan on picking it up, but it's going to be an Ursa for Suicide Room now. A team that many think to be nerfed beyond belief, but now the Brood coming out for Fire. That's going to be their offlane hero, it looks like. So, we will see what's going to ha happen with this one. Once again, guys, I'm SP Revolution 5, as we're going to be getting into the game very quickly here. Fire Gaming definitely putting on an entertaining show in game number one, so... Let's 
We are seeing quite a few pings come out. Let's go ahead and switch that overlay up. For battle. So actually I can uh, real quick remove this from the overlay so it loads a little faster, hopefully. That's strange. But whatever. Okay. Alright, smoked up on the bottom lane. We are going to have Suicide Room starting off over here. On the other side of the river, we will see fire uh, meeting up at the moment. And we'll do our introductions in a second, as it looks like they're going to go for a level 1 play here. Now, they actually have enough tools to be able to level 1 Roche, which... Mm, okay, this is going to sound crazy, but they may actually choose to do that now. Pick somebody off and then go for the Roche, which is... I mean, it's a possibility. They're going to grab Chin with a Sun, but a nice fissure out from Earthshaker will stop them from initiating right now. Or is that going to actually split off from the team, and they could jump him if, they're, if he's not careful, but... He actually skilled up Earthshock first. Hasn't used it yet, of course, but... Stupendous. We'll be getting a Storm, a Bounty Rune. It's going to be an aggressive tri lane with From Hell on the Pugna, D4 on the Vengeful Spirit, Emo on the Ursa in the bot lane. Uh, SR Kivo will be mid lane on the Storm Spirit this time around. And uh, Spirit Breaker going to be played by Mirok, or Jairok, por mi flaca. Whatever that means. Up top, it's Notice Me Senpai, who is a little hard to notice at the moment, seeing as he's hiding in some uh, some webs. Agony going to be on the Leshrac. Uh, hmm, okay. Um, Banksy going to be on the uh, chin there in the jungle. Painful Passion going to be stacking up right now with the Earthshaker. And in the bot lane, it'll be Heaven on the Bloodseeker. Although I don't think that's where it's going to do that. And more acne. Going to be moving around a bit here in the mid lane. Not doing too much, though, at the moment. This is very nice music from the new music pack, but hey, whatever. Heaven is in here on the Bloodseeker. Gonna be getting a couple CS here and there, at least. Mother. Now, pick number Soul Ring, I mean, it's a very slow early game, especially compared to what we had last game. But meanwhile, mid lane, it looks like SR Kivo is in a lot of trouble. One more right click should do the job, but he'll salve up and actually save himself from that. 50 HP remains here. Chen will be able to grab the bounty rune in the bot rune spot. And, uh, really starving Ursa for farm, actually. Yes, Bloodseeker is doing fine. I don't know what they are talking about there, and... Okay. You know, Brood is virtually free farming up here, as Jarrock isn't able to do much here. I wish they knew that I could see everything they're typing. As well, but notice me, Senpai, gonna get charged here. They'll actually rotate in the Pugna. Throwing out an ult from Brood there. He's not going to be attacked at the moment here. And he actually will end up living, I believe. Nice Nether Blast from the Pugna. I'm a little surprised they didn't put Spirit Breaker in a support role, though, and put Pugna up against the Brood, because this is a hero that can actually dominate Brood solo when she gets a lot of those Spiderlings. Uh, using the Nether Blast to clear this out quickly will help defend the tower quite nicely. So, Also, the high mana cost on spawn Spiderlings will mean Nether Ward's very useful up against her, but he does have that early point in the crap of five, which is pretty common from Pugnus these days, at least. First blood. 
As first blood actually is going to come out in the mid lane. Storm Spirit getting taken down by Agony there on very low health, but he does have 900 gold on his hero right now. That's actually going to be enough to go ahead and get started on his Bloodstone if he wants. Uh, won't be bottle crowing simply because he can probably just go top and get the rune right at the four minute mark. Storm will be respawning now though, and uh, he doesn't have a TP. Uh oh. This is actually really bad for Storm because he doesn't have a TP. He's yet to get his uh, bottle as well here. And Leshrac is sitting on a bottle as well as mana boots at this point. Meanwhile, Venture Spirit does go down on the bot lane to the Bloodseeker. Going to be very good for him to have as Ursa comes on in, throws down a Shockwave, but it's not going to do too much. Or Earth Shock, excuse me. As Bloodseeker will just skitter away from him. Oh, Broodmother they're actually finding a kill on Spirit Break. These kills popping up all over the place where I least expect them. Sorry about that. But actually, we'll already have a Hand of Midas recipe ready to go here at the five minute mark, if that's what she's going for. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, Orchid would be very good this game, I think. And meanwhile, Leshrac gonna take down Storm yet again. Storm Spirit is not having a good time. Uh, with only five or four last hits, and two deaths to his name, but no kills, no assists. Meanwhile, on the bot lane, it looks like we might actually catch an engagement here. And nice blast out there, but Heaven is going to be able to get away. Now, he is gaining move speed by the second, as he's now at 601, running after the Pugna, and he's found him. Easy kill here for Fire, as it is 5-0 in their favor. Make it six, possibly, as Heaven goes for the double kill. Actually, probably going to chase on in here. With three points in Thirst, he could potentially get this. But Ursa, smarter than the average Barry, is going to be backing off here. And they've already got a Midas up on Brood. They've won all three of their lanes decisively. And, uh... This game is falling apart very quickly for Suicide Room. And I mean very, very quickly. I want to ask them to talk through Steam or something, but I don't want to... ...be rude, you know? But oh well. Gyrock gonna be farming up here. Does have his urn, but no boots just yet. And this is one of the downsides if you don't get your urn very quickly. As someone like a Spirit Breaker, you really start to fall behind because without boots, Sierra doesn't do much unless he gets super, super lucky. And I mean, so lucky it's not even funny. As Gyrock will be charging out here, actually looking for Painful Passion. We're gonna charge right through the mid lane and actually get hit with a lightning strike from. The left track ult comes out, but Agony just takes almost no damage from it. The Crepify coming out, but there's your rupture, and Bloodseeker coming in here. He's already at about 500 moves. He will lose it very quickly as they take down three. Pugna going to Creeps, and the other two going to Bloodseeker. Nine to zero right now. As things are getting quite out of control, we could say. Notice me, Senpai, up on the top tower. Already almost taken a tier two, seven and a half minutes in, and should be able to get it. I mean, they'll have Vengeful Spirit here to throw out some armor reduction. But Brute is not afraid. That's a free pathing, and it'll just create some space for them to take the mid tower. I mean, with the Chin army, the Brute army, the push strat is online, indeed. As they're looking for Brute. Spirit Breaker stuck in the trees here. They actually will throw down the sentry, but they can't see her just because of lack of vision in the area. And that sentry is going to be basically useless, as actually they lose the tower anyways! Oh my goodness, what a misplay. This fire are really just rolling all over them here. Yeah, 
Fire are currently uh, 2-0 and 2-0. Could be 6-0 at this point. It's securing themselves basically a top spot in the group, guaranteed. Uh, nice suns there from the chin, though, to set up that Bloodseeker silence. Ursa actually, when he gets uh, ruptured, he's basically useless here. He just has to stand back in the fight. Let's try to throw out a lightning storm and get a lot of damage off here as well. Meanwhile, back at the racks, it's a Broodmother family reunion as her and her spiderlings are going to be getting things going. It's 13-0 here as, good lord, they're just running all over them. And I am, oh my god. Another one bites the dust here. It's from hell. It's going to eat it. And they're going to call GG. 14 9 and a half minutes in. Now that's what I call stomping. Right, guys, I'm going to go get some food. I've got some time in between this and the next game. But don't go anywhere, guys. In just about 30 minutes here. We will have, uh, it's the 5th, so Sad Voids up against Isaris at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm SP Revolution 5, though, if you can, uh, find, uh, Twitter, SP Revolution 5, and, um, Facebook, SP Revolution 5. Dota, also Twitch, SP Revolution 5, um, That's pretty great, too. Um, yeah, and of course, True Sight TV, everywhere there's social media, you can find us there. Uh, that'd be quite great. Uh, I will see you guys in a bit. As I'm going to go get some food before it's time to go. Uh, what a game. What a quick game, indeed. And thanks for watching. We'll be right back.